Okay. This is, this is something that I think is fun. We have adventures in real estate. Okay, I'm going to add this as a little segment in so that you can get some feel for some of the, I have to use the word crap that we go through. So I've got two stories for you. The first property is Norell Apartments. Has anybody heard this story? This is the first property I personally bought in 1991, 14 units in Oak Cliff, just over the Marsalis Bridge, and it's down about 100 yards from there. 14 units. It was, I want to say it was $80,000, nothing down, for 14 units. Does that sound like a bargain? Now, now you say, why? Okay, why is it so cheap? Well, this same owner was a friend of a friend, and he, would, he, he's, he had owned it for many, many years. And he would sell it and finance it to whoever bought it. They'd put 20% down, usually sell it for 120 to 140,000. They'd put 20% down. They would, they would then fix it up and manage it for a while, maybe sell it, and he'd uh, carry the note. Um, but eventually, they would default. He'd foreclose on it. So he did that about 10 times. So this guy was making hand over fist. When he foreclosed, he wouldn't even go out to the property. He'd foreclose. It's there. Don't, give a, don't care about it. He put an ad in the paper, say, 14 units. Uh, $120,000, 20% down. And he'd have somebody come in and buy it. Well, the reason for that is those 14 units, 12 were occupied by drug dealers. Okay. There was more traffic there than 7-Eleven. There were trails coming in from every direction. Those 12 units are occupied by drug dealers. We said, hey, first lesson on this is I was actually a passive investor in that deal. I put up the cash. I had one partner that was going to do the management and oversee it, and another partner that was going to do the construction. Okay, There's a lesson to be learned here in this comedy of errors. The manager said, yes, I can take care of this and run all this stuff. I said, great, you go ahead and take care of that. Well, after the contractor went out there and started working on the units, by the way, the first contractor I dealt with in Texas, and I thought they were all this way, he would go to work at 7 a.m., his cooler next to him, full of beer. And on the way to work, he'd have a beer, and be drinking that. And he got so good, he could throw it out the window, flip it up backwards so it landed in the back of his truck. <laughs> truck bed full of beer cans. And he got out there and started working. And he'd go install an air conditioner. That night, it would, become, it would be stolen. He would go do something out there. People would steal his tools. Um, he was doing that while the manager, and I helped the manager, we went out to the property to kill the drug traffic. And we said, we don't want to confront them head on and go take them to court because they'll fight, there'll be problems. So what we did, okay, I was young and stupid, and we went out and stood on the front entry. Anytime anybody pulled up, we'd say, you here to score? And they'd say, yeah. And we'd say, no, you're not. We're going to call the police. Take off. So they'd leave. So we killed their business so that they would move. Okay. It's a great, great plan. All these yuppies from Dallas driving across the bridge. I mean, one, I remember one, one guy in a, uh, in a convertible sob come up, pull up. Okay. So we start killing the traffic. And because of that, the people started moving. One of the residents... Um, a really pretty Hispanic girl, and, well, I should say, would have been really pretty. Um, I was talking to her about her rent. She had the long black hair, and we're standing there, and I'm talking to her. I swear to you, I'm not exaggerating. A cockroach crawls out of her hair. She didn't even know it. Okay. Went into uh, one apartment. You remember Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark? And they look in that pit and they say, why is the floor moving? You remember that part? Okay. Went into one unit and we said, why is the carpet moving? And it was all the cockroaches under the carpet, making the carpet move. Okay. So this is a nasty property. So first, the contractor quit. 
when we went in there and, and he had a bid for $60,000, already did some of the work, and we went out there and got additional bids and found out it was about $120,000 to go ahead and do it. So that threw us completely off. So rule one also is get extra bids to make sure you're not basing your numbers on very low, uh, low estimates. So we killed the traffic. I hired a manager, okay, um, a batshit crazy white woman to be right down there in this, in this crap, and she was nuts, okay? I wanna say she was probably 65 years old, no smoking outside. It was, it was, she, didn't like, she didn't like the smoking outside, it was bad for the environment. She had some, some of you, there's some, uh, re some recipe where you can make your own uh, um, cockroach poison or deterrent, which she made herself and sprinkled all over the property. Okay. Um, after there was numerous shooting in, this, in the area and people that said they had to sleep in their bathtub, my manager quit. So I'm a passive investor. The contractor quit and the manager quit. And so I had to take over the property and go through and do that. Fixed it up, turned it into something nice. But again, I had the same problems. I was going down there and there was a lot of drugs, a lot of crime. Um, when we cleaned up the property, there was a hundred and about 130 syringes found on the property. Okay, it was bad, but we turned the property around and it ended up being uh, a very nice property. We put up a wrought iron gate around it, um, killed the drug traffic, and uh, we thought we were gonna be able to turn the whole area around. We were going into the bad area and we were gonna turn all that around. You can't turn around neighbors. Um, we were just about 10 years early before the gentrification for that area. But that was Norell Apartments. Be sure to visit us at darwingerman.com. There you can register for all of our information and see all of the videos. And make sure to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos.